It's a 16 person 3000 meter women's final. Done away with the heats in this event. Perhaps to encourage people maybe to double the 1500 took place with the heats yesterday and the finals tomorrow. We haven't actually had any women take up that opportunity to double, and perhaps because this race in itself is very, very competitive, you wouldn't want to hamper yourself one bit. That woman, Gudaf Segai, very much the favourite as we look towards this 3,000 metres. And this home crowd would love, love, love Laura Muir to pick up another global medal. She got the bronze over 3,000 metres back in 2018 when this championship took place in Birmingham. On the day of the Beast from the East, we had a massive snowstorm here in the UK. And uh, Laura Muir had to get a taxi all the way from Glasgow here, where she was doing her veterinary exams, to Birmingham. Apparently, rumours are it was around about £700 for this taxi. and uh, But it was worth every penny. She picked up a bronze medal behind Kinzebi Dababa and Safan Hassan. Meshesha very talented athlete. She's picked up medals over different distances here at the World Indoor Championships. But Ethiopia have got a fantastic history in this event and they're looking to continue that here. Unprecedented distance for the ex athletes. Meanwhile, back on the track with this women's 3000 final. Got two start lines here. These women on the outside will stay in the outer lanes until the back straight. It's good they haven't got all the athletes on the same start line. Gudaf Segai is the world indoor record holder over 1500 meters and the world outdoor record holder over 5000. She won the 1500 last time round in Belgrade today. She goes for gold in the 3000 meters. Zomi Tanaka holds pretty much every middle distance record and distance record in Japan. Lem Lem Hailu is the defending champion. She's actually lined up in the wrong place at the moment. She's out near Beatrice Chepkowicz. I assume that's where the officials put her, so hopefully she can move or she won't be penalised for staying there. Laura Muir, the first athlete on the line further back here. European indoor champion in this arena. She did the double, the 1500 metre, 3000 metre double on the continental stage. Muir has 14 major medals. Could she possibly add another here today? She's in decent shape. She's going to have to find a little bit more here to stay in contention with the Africans and some fast women from across the world. Flanagan, national indoor record for Ireland, over two miles. Ludovica Cavalli ran away with the 1500 in Madrid the other day at the World Indoor Tour final. Andrews, just like Andrews of the United States, was fifth over 1500 metres in Belgrade. Garcia, new national indoor record holder over 5,000 and 3,000. The silver medalist from last year, Elsa Pierre, her son turns one year old on Monday and she is already back beating her own records on the indoor track. Jessica Hull of Australia did beat St. Pierre on her first race back after motherhood. 3,000 metres in New in Boston in the New Balance Games. Nuttall is running very, very well this season. The home athlete getting warm reception from the crowd. And Meshesha, the bronze medalist over 1,500 metres two years ago in Belgrade. A note on Hannah Nuttall. Her father sadly passed away oh, a few months marks. ago. And she has managed to keep herself in fantastic shape. A massive credit to Nuttall for the personal best that she has rewritten in the last few months under extreme pressure and heartbreak i'm sure they're away here in the women's 3000 meter final Beatrice Chepkoech, the Kenyan athlete, she ran aggressively in Budapest to try and regain her steeplechase crown. She won in Doha. She's the world record holder in the steeplechase, and I was impressed with that front-running effort in Budapest. It only resulted only, inverted commas, in a silver behind Yavi, but it was very impressive, and I was wondering whether Chepkoech would use that strength from the steeplechase here to get this race going. Chepkoech is a brave athlete. I remember when she went to the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast, 1500 flat, and got the silver medal. And yeah, she's not quite in the shape that took her to that immense world record and the world title over the three steeple. But there are signs that Chepkoech is coming back to her best. Do you know what? This is an absolutely gigantic field. 16 athletes. And if you want an indication as to the quality of this field, because it is quality, not quantity, that counts, the top six fastest women in the world this year are all here. Sege, Hull, St. Pierre, Meshesha, Chepkoech, and Laura Muir. And they are stringing out at a very early stage here. I think this is quite good for Laura Muir, who now just looks like she's beginning to realize that she doesn't want that gap to grow too much bigger. 
This is a good, honest pace by Chep Koech, and Muir can just tick off the laps and make sure she's got Hailu in her sights, the defending champion. And now the field is sort of split in half with Muir bridging that gap between six athletes at the back and a long line of world-class women up ahead of her. But this is good stuff from the perspective of Beatrice Chepkowicz. I'm impressed by Chepkowicz here. She, she's, she's not going to be scared of any field. She's won every loads of races out there in the steeplechase. She's run 401, a new personal best over 1,500 metres indoors this season, but she has got the strength. And I think Chepkowicz, she was, went out in a 64-second first 400 metres. There we go. That slowed right back down. That's a 69 there. That's a different kettle of fish. 64 is eight-minute pace. That would have been a world record. And that 69, that's a lot more sensible here for 3,000 metres and I think that's why we've seen that second group led by Laura Muir come back up and join the main, cont main content contenders. Now St Pierre and Hull slotted in there on the inside, they committed to this pace, they were clearly ready for whatever the perhaps the Ethiopians you'd expect to throw at them with good off Segai's phenomenal pace. She's done the second fastest time ever over 3,000 metres. And good off Segai was almost looking to the side there. I wonder if there's a coach telling her what's going on. 2.48 through the first kilometre there. That's slowed, like nearing into 8.30 pace. And perhaps that's why we've seen Jessica Hull be poised, ready for the move there. Segai realising this wasn't as fast as it was in the opening 400 metres. And she's the, uh, the athlete that takes up the lead. I just noticed a lap or two ago, there was a little bit of an exchange. Gudas Sege was, was holding her arms out as if to say to Jess Hull, come on, you're clipping my heels here, give me a little bit of space. Look at Lem Lem Hailu. Well, she appeared as though she was going to try and move wide on the outside. We've got a lead group of seven, Laura Muir out of picture at the moment in eight. But this is real quality, Gudas Sege. World record holder over 5,000 metres, second fastest in history over the three, the quickest woman in the world this year. And maybe, maybe she's thinking the championship record of 8.33 might be on the line. But this is quickly approaching the halfway stage here and also going well. Just check Koech happy to sit in now, it's not like she's gone gone backwards through the field, she's just got a little bit of help with the pacemaking duties. This is a fascinating race unfolding and the crowd are responding, Hannah, because they're desperate to see Muir join that leading seven. 4.12 through halfway, that was their 1500 meter split. Good off Segai is very, very comfortable in that. Of course, double that, you get 8.24. This woman ran 8.17 this season to try and uh, trying to break the world record of Genzebe de Barber. She missed that by just nine hundredths at the end of the last indoor season. So Good off Segai has certainly got the strength. She's the world 10,000 meter champion from Budapest. She then was disappointed perhaps with her 13th place as we just focused on the local athlete, Laura Muir. She does look labored, but this is very, very quick. And Muir is an experienced athlete. If she's judged this correctly, we could see the Scottish woman pick off athletes and progress through the field and maybe, maybe get herself back in medal contention. But she hasn't got long to play with because Gudos Segai is pushing at the front. There goes Meshesha, the bronze medalist over the 1500 metres. It was a clean sweep that day. Someone and Baye picked up the silver. Meshesha, the bronze. And the woman at the front at the moment, Gudas Segai, was the victor over the shorter distance. She goes here for a title she's never won before. It's really beginning to split now. Here at Meshesha, the world indoor bronze over the 1500 two years ago has become a little bit detached from what is now a leading quartet. Segai, Paul. Excellent running by Chep Coetch and St. Pierre is right in there. The gaps are growing and certainly the crowd are willing Laura Muir to close the gap. And she's out of contention at the moment, but you never know what might happen over the last few laps. This has been quick and there will be casualties. The three women tracking Gudaf Sege look comfortable at the moment. I wonder what the next tactic will be from the world record holder over 5,000 metres. Is she gradually going to wind it up or will we see a sudden burst of acceleration? Four laps to go. It's a mammoth effort from the defending champion Lem Lem Hailu, but she looks like she's turning this group of four into five. The green vest of Ethiopia just trying to get back in contention with El St. Pierre, the American, the silver medalist from last time round. That was a breakthrough performance for St. Pierre. She then went on to take the US title 
broke four for the first time, but then competed in Eugene, slightly pregnant. I think she knew she was pregnant, but no one else did. And everyone said, what's happened to St. Pierre? How was she so good a few weeks ago? And she's floundering now, but she went away and she had her son, Ivan. St. Pierre lost her opening race to the woman in green in second place, Jessica Hull. And St. Pierre said she did too much leading in Boston. It ruined her sprint finish. And then she went to Milrose and she blew apart Jessica Hull in the, in the closing stages, reversed their placings to break her own American indoor mile record holder. So we know mile record. So we know St. Pierre has got leg speed to in this indoor season and she can get it out here today. That group, I think, is slowing ever so slightly. Good at Segai does have a good kick, but she's got plenty of room for company as it's two laps to go. The crowd are roaring because Muir is beginning to close the gap. I think they are slowing and Laura Muir might be able to pick off one or two of the athletes, but the Ethiopian is striking for the title, but there are three women desperate to stop her. That's the chaser, Muir and Hailu trying to close the gap. Now comes the move. Gudaf Segai has got strength, she's got speed, and she has kicked off the front of this field. I think Jessica Hull, the athlete, not able to go with it at the moment. Gudaf Segai takes the belt. St. Pierre of the United States one runs wide. The steeplechase world record holder, Beatrice Shetkovic, is still very much in this. Elle St. Pierre on her return after childbirth. This woman is still breastfeeding. She has a one-year-old, turns one on Monday, and she is going shoulder to shoulder with the world record holder over 5,000. Gudaf Segai took a phenomenal six seconds off that mark at the end of, end of the outdoor season. But Elle St. Pierre, the American, strikes. She's going to do it. What an upset. She's got time to celebrate. That is a championship record that has stood for 35 years. That is a woman who won a silver medal two years ago, but her life has changed since then. And she's just changed it another notch here in Glasgow with a world title. Hats off to Elle St. Pierre. She's also got the American record. Alicia Monson has held that for a few years, but St. Pierre has rewritten that. Wow, what a run from Elle St. Pierre. Could have seen Sagai did so much of the leading and she's had to settle there for second place. But Inchitab Kowicz takes the national record away from Helena Beardy of Kenya. 8.22 for her. And an area record for Jessica Holt, bettering the mark that she ran in Boston as well. But hats off to St. Pierre. That was guts. Championship record for gold. National record for bronze. Area record for fourth. Sege's pace was absolutely relentless. Another area record for Tanaka, who once again finishes eighth, the position she so often occupies in global finals. Sege really took it to the rest of the field. One or two of the athletes even getting lapped. But Elsa Pierre, back from having a baby, has never looked stronger, has never looked more committed, and she's delivered a wonderful piece of distance running. It's such an awkward way in which to run the 3,000. 15 laps. She's decimated Ellie Van Holst's championship record. And she's done it with the second fastest time in the world this year. Brilliant run from Beatrice Chipkoec with a national record. I think there are hints that she might be getting close to being back to her best on the track over the uh, steeplechase. Fantastic speed to put back in her legs. No disgrace with the silver medal from Sege. It was one of the finest, quickest major championship races we've ever seen. And so often it's tactical and it's slow and it's cagey and the times are irrelevant. But for St. Pierre to do it in the manner in which she did was absolutely phenomenal. Chep Koec with the bronze, Sege the silver, but a championship record and the performance of a woman who will now look to Paris off the back of this confidence and think, well, I reckon I can get in the shake-up over 15 or 5. Al St. Pierre, it's easier to chase, isn't it? If you can pull up on the shoulder of an athlete and get a sniff at being able to overtake them, it's so inspiring, but just the nerves, the guts to pull up alongside a world record ho holder over 5,000 metres. St. Pierre didn't look phased at all, and she must have 
just thought, is Segai going to come back at me and just realising that she was the woman with the best kick today? And that is the third fastest time ever. Well, she puts herself third fastest on the all-time list. We have seen some other times we could have Segai in there. But she slots herself behind Gensebe de Barber's world record of 8.16. Good off Segai just behind that with another 8.16. And then... It's El St. Pierre with 8.20, a new championship record. Good off Segai, having to settle for silver. 8.21, and Beatrice Chepkowicz, a new national record for Kenya. 8.22.